Hi, my name is Jim Roy, former PGA and Champions Tour player, and I'm here at Syracuse, New York at my home course, Bellevue Country Club. And on this video, I want to talk a little bit about golf weight shift. Now, to me, it's more of a pivot, not really a weight shift. But a lot of people talk about weight shift, so let's talk about it in those terms. I'm going to give you some examples of what I think is, a, is going to help you create a more dynamic pivot and hopefully hit the ball even more solidly. Now the reason I like to call it a pivot versus a weight shift, a lot of people talk about shifting their weight on the downswing. Well in my opinion, the weight shift is over at the top of the swing. Because with a proper, the proper sequencing of the golf swing, once we're up to the top, we've already shifted a little bit to our left side. And that's as far as we need to go. From here, it's simply a rotation and a pivot through the ball to hit the right shot. So I'm going to give you a drill where you can learn that sequence. But right now, let's go back to where I like to describe as the pivot, OK? A lot of problems I see with my students Number one problem is we see them swaying their hips, okay? This right hip gets outside their right foot, the center is moved, and it's almost impossible to consistently return to the proper impact position. One of the things that I like to do with my students is to get them set up in their golf posture. Everything is, weight distribution is good, and then I have them pretend someone's calling their name from behind them. So you can see this tree here. So I'm pretending that somebody over there is calling my name. And I'm going to stay in my posture, and I'm going to turn and look at them. Now when I do that, the weight is on the inside of my right foot and my left instep, exactly where you would like it. You can also see the right hip is turned back away from the target line, and you can see how my left knee has popped out. One of the things I see with people that really have trouble bottoming out the club at the same place is again, the hip slides, this left knee moves way too much and it moves off to the right. What really happens in the golf swings, the legs kind of work like pistons. As we turn, this left leg actually pops out. And as we continue in our backswing, it's pulled into a position where it's sometimes pointing right at the ball or maybe with a longer club, even behind the ball. But I see a lot of players manufacture that movement and you, have, you, don't, you do not have good connection with the ground if you do that, okay? So let's hit some, a couple of shots here. And my thought is going to be someone's calling my name from behind me. I've got a good dynamic pivot here. And it's going to set me up to be able to hit the ball solidly. Okay, so now let's talk about what I said in the beginning of this tape where I believe the weight shift is over once you've completed your backswing. In any athletic motion, throwing, baseball, hockey, as that club is going back, you're actually stepping forward. And once we've stepped forward, it's now time to rotate into the golf shot, okay? If I was to go back here and then shift weight, there's no way I'm gonna create the torque necessary to really be able to hit that golf ball as best I can, all right? So we need to get the proper sequencing, all right? So if we set up, let's hit some small little shots here. We're going to set up, we're going to have the club at waist high. I'm going to take the club back and simultaneously lift my left leg, plant it, and hit, okay? So it's going to look that motion there. So we'll take a couple of little swings doing that. Club parallel, up, step, and hit. Okay, what that's doing is creating the right sequence for me to get back to the golf ball the most efficient way and most powerful way. So one more of those. At first, the timing is a little difficult when you start out with this. That's why I think just take your time, small little shots right here, step, and finish. So I think if you do those two things, the step drill, Look behind you, feel what a real good pivot feels like. I think it's going to improve your weight shift, or what I like to call pivot, and you're going to get better golf shots. Now, if you like this video, feel free to press the like button, and we'd love to have a comment from you. 
uh, to see what other topics you'd like us to cover. There's a button there to subscribe to the website, and thanks for joining us.